Apple. What could you possibly be thinking? According to the internet, I'm the biggest Apple hater out there. And yet here I am on launch day with the AirPods Max. Why would you send it to me? Oh, we bought them. All right, well, we bought them. So these come in at 550 US dollars, which means that naturally in the uh, <clears throat> current environment, we paid, how much was it? 1200 Canadian. 1200 Canadian? Yeah. All I have to say is these things better be flipping awesome. I have cloistered myself. I know absolutely nothing about them other than what is on my spec sheet here. They come in five different colors. So we got the basically black, I guess, is what this space gray with a black headband. That's what we've got. They've got eight active noise canceling microphones. And if there's anything I know about Apple's active noise canceling technology based on my experience with the AirPods Pros, it's that my expectations for this are extremely high. It's got three mics for voice. Uh, so two of those are also used for ANC. That gives you a total of nine microphones on these things. And they've got an Apple H1 chip in each ear cup. What kind of carrying case is this? It's called a bra. Truly it is. The bra purse. Ooh, I can already tell that that's probably not gonna be enough cushion for my head pushing. I mean, it's one thing for a pair of headphones to be comfortable when you first put it on for like 10 minutes. It's quite another for a pair of headphones to be comfortable when you've been sitting listening to them for, you know, three hours on a super long train ride or whatever the case may be. All right, well, it's got a magnetic doodadamajig there. To Apple's credit, it's fast to put in and take out, I guess. Okay, first let's finish the unboxing. Okay, lightning charging cable, lightning to type C cable included, no charger. Do you see Brazil challenged Apple's stance that including a charger is, or not including a charger is for environmental purposes. They were like, sorry, what? A charger is sort of fundamental to using the product. You guys are gonna need to include chargers. Okay, we've got little paper protectors. This is nice though, nice environmentally friendly packaging. Okay, all right, only twists one way, so that means it's you know, you don't have to have any like muscle memory for which way it folds to put in the case. The ear pads are removable. It's magnetic. Absolutely freaking love that. Nice big drivers in there, although I wouldn't have expected anything less from an audio product that costs 550 US dollars. Although I do want to take a second to comment on the price. I saw people outraged about a $550 price tag for these. And I guess if all you've ever known for high-end consumer audio is like, Bose, you know, QCs, then $550 seems like a lot. But I can tell you from the audiophile community point of things, that's like, wow, well, these are like bang for the buck. Wow, they've even got wireless built in at that price. What is a disappointment from an audiophile standpoint is you don't even have the option of driving them with an external amp and DAC. So you can see here, the only interface for these in true modern Apple fashion is you've got lightning down here for charging, and guess what? That's flipping it. So if you want to plug them into your, you know, hi-fi setup at home or whatever, you might as well just give up. Bluetooth is all. We've got a crown kind of wheel and button up here. Another button over on what is the right ear cup. I love these nice clear labels on the ear cups. You see that, David? Oh, yeah. Not that that is how I would evaluate a pair of headphones, but they do look pretty freaking sick. In terms of sizing, I'd say if you've got a super, you'd have to have a pretty super small head for this to not go small enough for you. Like, I don't think my kids could wear it, but if you're an adult, it should be no problem. And, oh, they powered on immediately. It's so intuitive. I already figured out how the active noise cancellation works. I just went to like adjust them on my head and immediately the exact same noise that I expect from my AirPods Pros, uh, the active noise cancellation I think was on by default, so it kicked off and now I've turned it back on. It's a little bit of hiss. Just a little bit, a little bit of that active noise cancellation pressure. They're heavy though. Like metal construction has been attempted many times on headphones and rarely well. But to their credit, they're holding really well. You're holding what back. What about the shake test? Oh, there's a little bit. They've they got momentum. To the headband's credit, this held up 
way better than I expected. Like usually I can tell very quickly, like, oh yeah, there's a ridge running across my head. Uh, they've got just enough ear clamp pressure that it might be okay, but like I said, I'd have to really wear them for two hours to see if they eventually fatigue me. Hold on a second, sorry, I'm having a hard time hearing you. Just have to turn on the transparency, whoa! To an even greater extent than the AirPods Pros, I kind of feel like I am listening to myself on the radio. Can you guys just tell tell me, uh, James, tell me about, um, how's your how's your daughter doing? Well, uh, she's a <laughs> she climbs on everything. Yeah, you know? okay. You sound totally normal to me though. It's like, it's damn close. Like that's impressive. Okay, so the crown controls. So you turn it for volume control, press once for play pause or to answer a phone call, twice to skip forward, three times to skip back. This button has a nice feeling to it actually. And press and hold for Siri. I think it's a little easy to press for my liking though. Like every time I grab them, I'm like, I'm, I'm pressing and holding it. It's the kind of thing that once you own the product, realistically, you're gonna get used to it in time, but it's, it adds an adjustment period that there maybe didn't have to be. When you put it into the smart case, it makes them go into a lower power state. Why wouldn't they just go into a lower power state when you take them off your head? Like every other pair of wireless headphones in this price bracket. They don't want everybody walking around with scuffed ear cups. So you have to carry this stupid case around with you? That is completely asinine. Why wouldn't you just have, a, I mean, this is, ugh. see, I sit here and I try to appreciate the good things, but then Apple just has this like, point of clarification, it does eventually go into low power mode, but it takes two hours to get there. Why don't we just have a button combo for this? I just, I fixed it for you, Apple. Let's pair it to a phone. We're gonna go with my iPhone because there are some features that work better on iPhone. Apple's spatial audio, uh, 360 degree virtual surround only works on iPhone. Uh, the seamless sharing and switching features are unlikely to work on Android. Uh, so this lets you sort of seamlessly switch between your Mac and your iPhone, which is pretty cool, or share an audio stream with another pair of AirPods. Uh, voice activation will be specific to Siri and the headphones have a lightning port for charging rather than USB type C. That's not strictly speaking something that is, you know, works better on iPhone, but it'll certainly integrate better into your, the rest of your ecosystem if you have an iPhone and you use lightning for all of your charging. So normally you just like bring AirPods close to an iPhone and it just like kind of magically pops up. Is it, do I have to like take it out of the magic case to magically pair? I don't know, yeah, like if you just open up the case of your AirPods, it just pairs. So I'm just kind of like making assumptions here. Nope, magic case doesn't even have that functionality. Thanks magic case, smart case, I don't, whatever. Hold the crown, press this. Maybe holding them both is Bluetooth pairing? Oh wait, well, whatever, it's here. I don't even know what put it in pairing mode. Why does it not just have a light for pairing mode? Oh yeah, it does, there it is, I think. Okay, whatever, it's connected. Magical enough. All right, let's go with songs that you guys are allowed to hear. Can you guys, is it completely noise isolated? Like, can you guys hear anything? I can't hear anything. I, can't hear anything. I hear something. So if I like crank it and I'm like vibing on the bus or whatever. I can hear it a bit now. Yeah, even even with transparency mode on, I can't hear a damn thing you're saying, sorry. I can hear it a bit. You can hear it, okay. So that's a good sign. When you're trying to build a product with active noise cancellation, one of the first steps is building something with good noise isolation, because it's obviously a lot harder to compensate for sound waves that are getting right through it into your ear holes. If you can just block out most of it in the first place, it makes life a lot simpler. Now let's just pop into the settings app. Uh, so there's transparency, there's just off. So this is no ANC, but wow, these are really isolating. Like I feel like I'm inside my own head. Yeah, like I can I can hear it, but it's like, it's like I've got my bed sheets and my pillows like over top of my head and I'm like talking to myself. Like I can almost feel the vibration of my voice in my own skull. That's actually kind of trippy. I would definitely have them in transparency mode or ANC all the time, I would never do this. Not really a whole lot to adjust. I'm sure there's like third party apps for EQ, but that's something we can explore in the full review. Make sure you're subscribed to Linus Tech Tips so you don't miss that. We'll also be comparing to Bose's, uh, what are these? Noise canceling headphones 700s, as well as Sony's, I think these are their Gen 4, yeah. XM4. Yeah. yeah, They sound a little better to me in this like off mode but everything else is kind of weird and trippy, so. All right, let's try transparency mode, and can you guys, uh, I'm gonna listen at like sort of a reasonable volume here. 
Let's see if I can kind of hear you. I can hear myself much better and I don't actually no notice the unnatural sound of my own voice anymore. Jono, how's your how's your dog doing? How's Cadence? He is doing fantastic. Can't hear a damn word you're saying. Okay, uh, let's try someone louder. David, yeah, tell me, tell me about Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk is a video game that is a hot mess but I'm enjoying the heck out of it, and All I'm right. going to go home and play more. Yeah, okay, so it's usable. I'd still have to turn down what would I think would be my typical listening volume, but it's working. Let's pop it in noise cancellation, because this is probably how I would use them the vast majority of the time. So even at, I would say, a fairly modest listening volume, I'm not expecting to hear a word you guys are saying. James, how's your commute this morning? Oh, wow. Okay, I can tell you're just making noises now, because I could see your... I could barely hear that. Were you, okay, were you doing it loud? Uh oh, I see. So just like with the AirPods Pros, I'm really impressed with the active noise cancellation. Apple's done a great job of reducing that, that pressure feeling on your ears and it works really well. I take issue already with Apple's claims that, what, what did they call this? The, the best? audio experience possible or on the market or something like that, they're fucking not. Like, <laughs> within about four seconds, they're not. Why does Apple make me do this? Like, I, if they had just said, yeah, they're pricey because they're made of a solid piece of aluminum for each ear cup and they have great modern features like high-end Bluetooth connectivity and spatial audio. You know, what do you want from us? They're pricey. They're, you know, $150 more than the com competition. Deal with it. If that's what they said, I'd have been like, fair enough, Apple. I get it. Don't call them the best sounding headphones. Yeah, rated for 20 hours of listening time on a single charge with ANC or transparency, up to 20 hours of movie playback on a single charge with spatial audio on, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, we're gonna have to try that in the full review. I'm actually kind of excited for that. That'd be pretty sweet being able to take like a 5.1 setup around with Atmos, you effectively. Atmos actually, that actually makes sense. Five minutes charge time provides one and a half hours of listening time, that's pretty sweet. So you can top them up right before you, you know, leave. And 20 hours of talk time on a single charge. Man, I would feel like such a douchebag, like walking around having phone calls on this thing. I mean, maybe it's just like, uh, it just needs to become, you know, the norm though. Like I'm sure people felt like douches with their AirPods at first. Maybe this will just become normal because Lord knows Apple is not having any difficulty selling the things. First impressions then, build quality feels great. They're surprisingly comfortable. They look outstanding. I mean, you know what? It's not like I'm gonna gloss over that. They look absolutely sick and they sound pretty damn good. Even if it just doesn't hold up to what Apple claimed they sounded like. Go get yours for $550, just kidding. They're gonna cost you probably another 250 bucks on top of that because scalpers, F you scalpers. Thanks, subscribe to channel, super fun. Wait, short, <laughs> short circuit. I forgot what, look, what? I forgot what <laughs> tier channel I was on today, okay? Scalpers to go to channel super fun? No, everyone. <laughs>